Hey guys, this is Chris from Weebly Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to create a sidebar that will appear on every standard Weebly page. Uh, this video tutorial will follow the step-by-step -step written tutorial, and I will post a link to the step-by-step -step written tutorial in the description of this video tutorial. All right, let's begin. So, scroll down. Step one, open the HTML CSS editor. Go to your Weebly editor, and to open the Weebly editor, go to theme at the top, and on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. Step two, choose a page layout. All right, now you want to choose the page layout that you want the global sidebar to appear on. Um, in this case, we are going to install it on the header page layout. You can also choose to create a, your own page layout. Um, you can name it sidebar, and then that way you can easily apply the global sidebar to any pa existing page on your Weebly site. But for this instance, I'm going to just install the global sidebar on the header page layout. So we're going to choose the header page layout here. Give us some room here. Step three, add HTML coding. All right, so now we're going to add the HTML coding that will allow us to have a global sidebar. We need to go back to the Weebly editor, click on the header page layout if you don't already have it up, and we're going to scroll down to the main content area. For this particular Weebly theme, right here, main content area is defined by the div id equal main um, it has a class container um, and, it, and the content mustache which allows it to be drag and drop so what we're going to do is we're going to break this up into two columns right now it's just one column and we're going to break it up into two so to do that we're going to do this so we're going to bring this down And then for the left side, the, the drag and drop area that already exists on this page layout, we're going to write div class equal left. Oops. And then put a, a closing div tag into that. And now to make the sidebar that will appear on the right, to the right of this drag and drop area, Div class will write create a mustache, call the mustache sidebar, and we're going to make a drag and drop. We're going to add the word content after close the mustache, and then close the div. And that is the HTML structure for the global sidebar created. Step four, add CSS code. All right, so what we're gonna do to, because right now, um, let's see here. All right, so this CSS code is gonna do split. Right now, you, you can see here in the movie editor that it's just the content area. So this white area here, this whole white area, white background, is defined by this white content mustache right here. And even though there's an additional drag and drop area in the bottom we create with the sidebar, it's currently at the bottom. So we need to allow them to um, stand next to each other vertically. So to do that, we're going to add CSS coding. And on the left, you're going to look for the CSS file for uh, Weebly Carbon, <laughs> sorry, Weebly Carbon uh, themes, which are generation three Weebly themes prior. The CSS file is named main-style.css. For newer Weebly themes, themes uh, those uh, from generation four Weebly, the CSS file is called main.less. So for this particular theme, it is from the generation four Weebly, and I will be clicking on main.less to access the CSS file. Let's go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to paste that uh, 
of coating in there. Um, if this uh, if this happens, um, if like a little red dot appears, just delete that. All right. Step five, add one more CSS code. All right, so um, in order to, um, to allow the left and right column to stand on their own so that no other divs above them um, interfere with their structure, we need to add the CSS code overflow hidden to the main content div, which houses the two, which houses the two um, drag and drop areas. So the first drag and drop area is the one that was inherent to this page layout and the second one we just added. So what we need to do is we need to add the CSS code overflow hidden to the div that houses these two drag and drop areas. So that would be div class equal container. So step five for this particular theme. All right, so we need to go into the CSS file, find if there, this code may or may not exist, so we'll have to look for it, but let's see. Let's get, let me just type in the search. It does exist, all right, great. All we have to do, according to step five, is just add overflow hidden to this code. Step six, click, oops. So once we do that, we will save our work. Step six, drag and drop elements into the sidebar. All right, let's see if our sidebar is working. Just drag some text over and look at that. See it right there. So this is the main content area that was inherent to this page layout. And we've created this global sidebar that will now, now appear on every page that you apply this page layout to. This is the global sidebar. If you find that after installing the coding that the sidebar does not appear when you drag and drop elements over, what you can do is go back into the Weebly editor and click on your CSS file. Scroll down to the area where you installed your CSS coding from the written tutorial and, uh, and simply just adjust the percentages from the left and the right side. Um, you may need to reduce the left side in order for the right side to swing up. Uh, so, all right, guys, that's it. That's how you create a global sidebar that will appear on every standard page of your Weebly site.